Hey everyone! And I thought I'd make another video after so many times. I've been trying to make a video and I've just been too tired. I've been really, really poorly this month. I've had a really, really poorly month this month. I got some nasty flu, like flu cold virus, at the start of the um, month. And it's made me feel really, really poorly, sadly. Um, from I think I caught it on New Year's Eve and uh, it's made me poorly so I haven't been able to make many videos sadly but hopefully we're gonna make some QQQ videos now so it's so cold as well I've got like my fleece on and everything because it's so chilly it's just so chilly I'll take it off for a second though since I'm making a lovely lovely video since I'm making a lovely lovely video I thought I'd take it off and just show you what I'm up to so I got some Hot Wheels which is kind of cool so I'm going to switch lenses now because I've got three lenses believe it or not three super wide angle lenses to try out to make it more ooh, cinematic but the trouble is it creates just too much there and too much there sadly that's the only only problem with these lenses but I'm going to use the zoomy zoomy any one and see what we can see. How about that? <laughs> this is the other sort of um, lens that I've put on and I've just tweaked a couple of the settings because it was um, slightly overexposed but I got some like super cool Hot Wheels a while back now. I got these a while back so but I've not reviewed them, I've not talked about them but they're very very cool. Very very cool indeed. So we'll take a close look at these. Um, very soon because they're sort of like cool. I'm going to do like a proper video on it where I can like zoom in on them and properly look at them um, because like trying to do it here with switching lenses and stuff it's not going to be easy to do and then obviously I've got these which is the lens that I'm using now these Suri lenses which are very very cool very very cool indeed I really like them um, they just make things look really cinematic and really cool but I'm using 60 frames per second this time and the standard colour profile of the camera because I really, really, really can't be bothered colour correcting everything. And I've got these for shooting outside which are um, like filters, very cool filters. So, um, like you need to use a special filter when you're outside called a non-ND filter. These are very cool filters that don't change colour, which is cool. So that's cool. Very, very cool stuff. And now I can't get it back in the box. Go back in the box. The only trouble is with these boxes is it doesn't actually tell you on the, the thing. Like it's got a very nice case, but it doesn't actually tell you what filter it is, stupidly. So, um... Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Indeedy. Um, great to be making videos again. Great to be making videos. Um, I need to get rid of these hot wheels. So yeah, great to be making videos again. And uh, yeah, onwards and upwards, as they say. Onwards and upwards. Can't wait to make more videos but yeah just make a quick little one today i thought i'd just make like a quick little one and just for good measure i'm going to switch lenses once again and try the 75 millimeter lens just because i can just because i can so i thought i'd try this lens and it's very very good i really like the 70 millimeter one you see the trouble is i think you have to have the 35 the 50 and the 75 i think it just has to be done it made it quite expensive but having all three gives me all the options that i'd want to do and the 75 millimeter one for like actually close-up headshot talking it's really good i found it to be like really good you know that's my personal opinion anyway um that there's like the 75 has got like a really nice little special sort of you know, pang to it, as we'll say. It's very, very cool. Very, very cool indeed. I'm very, very happy with it all. I am very, very happy with it all. So, um, yeah. 
absolutely awesome trying out my new lenses i think this is the first time i've actually made a proper youtube video where i've tried out all three of these lenses the only trouble is now the camera that i got was only 600 pounds in a sale and the newer ones are like a thousand five hundred two thousand something pounds but the trouble is like it i can see the limitations of this camera that's the problem with it i know the limitations of this camera and I want to upgrade the camera now, which is very frustrating in its own sense. Um, but hey ho, there you go, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, I've tried this in 60 frames per second, so it's cinematic, anamorphic cinematic, but also 60 frames per second. Um, whereas cinema is supposed to be 25 fr or 24 frames per second. So this is going to be interesting this is going to be very interesting to um do as an experiment because it's going to look cinematic but it's going to be smooth and fluid like a youtube video so it's it's like an interesting take it's like it's cinematic but also the frame rate of like 60 frames per second now i know they tried it on the hobbit and it was a terrible idea they tried 48 frames per second and people hated it but that was at the cinema, They're not on a YouTube video. So that's what I'm going to try and do in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you really liked it. And thank you, thank you, thank you ever so much for watching. See you next one. Bye.